one of my favorite things to do being a fragrance lover is hitting up uh, indep the independent scene in fragrance so uh, one of the best websites for that of course is indie sense you can find a load of uh, interesting hidden gems on there and i think that it's important if you are a fragrance lover such as myself to try your best um, to support those independent fragrance houses because they are um, trying to achieve a lot in one of the most competitive and hardest um, industries to achieve in. I've had some success with the independent scene such as Slumhouse's Keist and Sebastian's Espresso Royale, but I've not had success all the time. So let's get into West Third Brands Tobacco 1812. It looked to be a, it still looks to be a very, very promising house. Um, their uh, presentation, which we're going to get into now, is quite interesting. Uh, I do like the fact that it's very uh, orientated on the 20th century American West. Um, it's got this sort of old timey sheriff cowboy uh, like presentation. And you know something, you could say it's a bit, it looks a bit cheap, but you know what, I'm not going to judge it because this type of bottle design you've, you'll see a lot. Sebastian has a bottle design similar to this. A lot of the indie houses do. It's for cutting cost measure, measures so that they can focus more on the scent. So I have no qualms with this style of um, bottle. It's just what they do with it. And I really do like the Gunslinger, um, like OK Corral, style uh, presentation and especially that with the box so you know what? i'm very happy to give it a four out of five um taking into consideration the limits and restrictions that they most probably have had but of course it is all about the scent and you know what tobacco i'm kind of already uh, sold love me some tobacco the knee um i love uh, for pan 1270 i do really like those tobacco-y smells but when you spray this on what you do get straight out of nowhere is this extraordinarily bright tobacco uh, with a hint of mint and a bit of greenery. And I like it. I do like it, but it's a bit too much. It's a bit too all your eggs in one basket. And what happens is you do get the image in my mind is that of an old man um, chewing tobacco. It has a very, very old... Uh, and mature feel, but it's too much. It's not something I could see myself wearing. The tobacco is so incredibly bright that it has nothing to balance it with. If this thing had incense or a bit more of a woodier tone to balance that extraordinarily almost cloying, sweet, bright tobacco, we could be in for something special, but alas, we do not. What it feels to me is that somebody has baked a cake and they have put too much of one ingredient within it. I do get this kind of uh, vanilla thing, even though there's nothing listed um, as vanilla in here. But it's interesting and it's definitely unique. It is definitely unique and it's definitely something I've not smelt before. But I just feel as though that's a swing and a miss. But for some people, this could be something that you may like. But for me personally, I find it too much, too intense, um, no balance, and not something that I can envision myself wearing uh, and not a very practical fragrance. So I'm going to give the scent two out of five. Projection and longevity is something I can't really complain about too much. The projection is a definite four out of five. This thing really does uh, boast its way into the room. And longevity, um, I would say safely a four out of five as well. Very, very strong, very um, intense and, and a, a long, a long drawn out time. I can get easily uh, 10 hours plus. So there is potential within this house. There's something that is to be explored, but I just think that I picked the wrong fragrance with this brand. It's been a bit of a swing and a miss with Tobacco 1812, but I'm very looking forward to smelling and picking up some of the other uh, fragrances. One that looks very interesting is Old Bourbon, because I do enjoy the occasional bourbon, and Am Ombre Notti, I believe. Those two look interesting. So to sum up, interesting brand, 
I really like the design, I really like what they're going for, but in terms of this fragrance, it's a swing and a miss. So I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5 overall. Interesting brand, and I wanted to just, again, state that if you are a fragrance lover, go and try and find some independent fragrances. There's a lot of hidden gems that don't get talked about, and one of the more, most exhilarating things to do is to find a fragrance house that nobody is talking about and find something very special than it is truly your own. So shout out to those independent houses who are grinding and hustling very hard, um, and usually with little to no reward. So shout out to you guys. Hope you got the information that you wanted with this. Until next time, I'm the Fragrance Press, and I'm out.